As you can see on the screen, I have earned more than $3,600 with just one trade on Binance Futures. And in this video, I will show you how I did it and how to trade futures on Binance. First, when you want to start making money on Binance using any method, even with automated trading bots, you need to create a 100% free account. And I will leave you a link in the description below the video and also in the pinned comment, where you can get up to $600 worth of welcome bonus to Binance. After you click the link below my video, you will land on Binance registration page where you will see my face, my name and your welcome bonus worth 600 USDT. You will click your sign up and then you will create your 100% free Binance account. And today we are going to focus on Binance futures. And when you start futures trading for the first time, and they will also ask you for a referral code. And if you want to get the discount on your trading fees, you can use the code honest. 10 and that gives you lower trading fees. First, let me give you a quick overview of trading on Binance futures. Then I will show how I made thousands of dollars worth of profits with just one trade. And then I will compare Binance trading to other platforms. For example, Bybit where I earned more than $15,000 with one trade and also Bitget where I earned more than $5,500 with one trade. Trade. When we come to coin market cap, you notice that Binance has easily the biggest trading volume in the universe. You can see in derivatives, the trading volume is measured in tens of millions of dollars every single day. On spot, they are also easily number one. So if you want to get the platform with the best liquidity, that is of course Binance. You can see they also have the biggest reserve of assets, tens of billions of dollars. And you can see the details here. The number one trading pair is of course BTC USDT and also BTC USD is one of the top trading pairs that I used myself to earn thousands of dollars with a single trade. You notice here that there are many different trading products that you can use USD and futures, coin and futures, trading bots that I have covered in detail in my previous videos on my playlist Earn Money on Binance, then also Binance options. So what did I do? I clicked here coin M futures. It opened this view right here. And now when I'm showing how I make money, I want to mention that this is not an investment advice. If you are a beginner, I don't recommend futures trading. I recommend that you keep on getting more and more Bitcoin regularly and you withdraw it into your own wallet. And if you ever decide to do futures trading, only use 5% of your portfolio. For example, if you have $100,000 in Bitcoin, you only use $5,000 for futures trading and $95,000 you put directly in Bitcoin. Once I came here, I transferred a little bit of BTC into my futures trading account. So I clicked this button right here, you can see, and then I transferred it from Fiat and Spot to Coin and Futures. And uh, let me just illustrate it for you. You click here, confirm and you can see it does it immediately for 100% free. And of course, vice versa, if you want to transfer your profits away from your futures account, back to spot account and into your own Bitcoin wallet, you can do it easily here by choosing coin and futures, fiat and spot, and again here, choose the amount and click confirm. The second thing that I chose was of course the leverage right here. And I chose a conservative just 3x to keep the risk low. And I chose also isolated to keep the risks low so I can cannot lose other assets, I can only lose a little bit of Bitcoin. Of course, you can also use cross margin. Of course, you can use even a smaller leverage or bigger leverage. But keep in mind, as they say here, the higher the leverage, the higher the risk. So that's why I don't personally trade with crazy leverage. Of course, if you want to trade other trading pairs, you will find them right here as well on the left hand side. Then I decided, hey, it's a good time to buy Bitcoin. I studied the metrics. Bitcoin was more or less in the bottom of the market. And then I came in right here. I scrolled this one right here. I clicked here market and I clicked here buy long. I put less than $1,000 of my own money into this trade and I have earned more than $3,600 profits. Just to show you the proof, currently the margin for this trade is only 0.036 BTC and the entry price uh, was 17530 so I put roughly $940 worth of my own money into this trade. And with that one, I have earned more than $3,623. In other words, I turned $940 into $4,562.
dollars. Did I do some back and forth trading? No. I only opened this one trade by clicking buy long. I went to enjoy my life, swim in the swimming pool, spend time with my loved ones, travel in beautiful and exotic places. And this trade simply earned thousands of dollars profits for me. Now let me show you more in detail how to trade here on Binance futures also with other trading products and let me give you a couple of recommendations if you want to trade the most liquid trading pair that have the highest trading volume then you may choose here usdm futures and then you are using usdt as a collateral you can see here btc usdt i was using btc usd for my own trade and here the trading volume is roughly 700 million dollars in one day meanwhile on usdt collateralized it's more than five billion dollars in one day so it's almost almost 10 times bigger and here the trading works exactly in the same way you can choose to leverage on the right hand side right here let me choose here isolated to lower my risk level I click here confirm and then you can choose to leverage and then you can choose how much you want to Trade. I will open an example trade in front of your eyes but notice here that you can also trade quarterly futures uh, when there is an expiration date for the futures you can see that the price is slightly different here 37 and half thousand for BTC while here is 37 and 3 and by the time you are watching this of course the numbers are different but the same principle applies the numbers are different on quarterly and perpetual futures let me click the virtual futures here so this one doesn't have an expiration date it can stay open forever and then i will come here on the market and when i scroll this one right here if you put 100 percent you use all available assets in that specific account here it shows how much is the trade value and here is the cost so i'm able to open a trade worth more than 37 usdt with just 7 usdt and the reason is that i'm using 5x leverage so everything is five times amplified also in this trade where i earned more than 3623 dollars if i wouldn't have used leverage i would have only earned 1200 but because i used leverage i earned three times more money faster but keep in mind when you are using leverage also the losses are amplified and that's why these are not recommended for beginners using 20x leverage as you can see here it's completely considered gambling but just to give you an example if i click here open long then i expect the price of bitcoin to go higher you can see it goes immediately here into open positions and you are able to close them immediately by clicking here market or click here close all positions you can see i earned two cents profits in front of your eyes let me close this trade and you can see it was successfully filled and submitted i earned a couple of cents profits in front of your eyes and if you want to use limit order uh, let's say that i would want to buy btc when it drops all the way to 35k for example then i could open it right here and click here open long click here open long again order submitted and then it comes here in the open order so sometimes beginners don't understand what is the difference between limit order and market order limit order it executes the trade immediately so you are able to do everything faster meanwhile with limit order you may save money on trading fees because now when this trade goes here into open orders it goes here in the order book so now if somebody picks it up i will pay less fees but of course the thing is that you will need to wait until this limit price is reached so what i would recommend you to do uh, if you want to save some money on fees uh, is to choose some of these here on the order book let's say you take a little bit under current price and then you scroll this one right here you click here open long now it will go right here in the order book and when the price of bitcoin dips a little bit then it will take your order right here and you save the money on the Fees. but personally i just use this market order because i don't want to wait i just want to do the trade immediately but again i don't personally use such a crazy leverage like 20x so let me immediately scroll this one a little bit lower i click here confirm and sometimes beginners ask what is the difference between cross and isolated uh, they explain it here in a nutshell with isolated you can only use and lose the money that you have for that specific account in this case usdt as a collateral if i use cross i can also also use and lose other currencies that I have on my USDM futures account right here for example sometimes i may have bnb or fd usd or other currencies the first one you already learned don't use more than five percent of your portfolio on futures trading the second one you can see right here the price of bitcoin has gone all the way from 0.1 dollar to one dollar 
10 dollars 100 dollars 1000 dollars 10000 dollars now when you are watching this price for one bitcoin is probably already more than 10000 dollars going towards hundreds of thousands millions and tens of millions of dollars for each bitcoin so you understand that it's almost never smart to short bitcoin if you want to trade bitcoin use this buy long because price of bitcoin keeps on going higher and higher and higher and of course the third and perhaps the most important especially for beginners practice risk management whenever you are trading futures you have many risks at the same time first of all you are adding extra risk with the leverage second of course you have risk related with the assets especially if you are trading weak currencies like uh, ethereum bsc xrp ltc or other weak altcoins but on top of that you have always the counterparty risk in this case binance because if you have money on binance and they happen to disappear or go into bankruptcy or something else would happen you may lose all the money that you have on Binance. And that's why I recommend that you don't rely on just one platform. Use multiple platforms to make money at the same time. As I showed you in the beginning, I make money also on Bybit, on BitGet, and actually in more than 20 platforms at the same time. You can find all of them for 100% free on my Ultimate Bitcoin Guide, where you also get thousands of dollars worth of bonuses and click-by-click -click tutorials for free to make money worldwide, even as a beginner. You will find my guide in the description description below the video somewhere right here one of the things you also may want to consider are the fees so you can search on google for example the funding fee here is the funding fee on binance for the last 14 days for btc usdt perpetual you can see it's almost always 0.01 btc sometimes when the price of btc shoots up in the bull market then you can see the fee also jumps higher and let's have a closer look at the coin and futures funding fee you can see it's also really stable if we take a look at the Bybit funding fee, it's also pretty much 0.01%. That is the industry standard. Most of the exchanges have a funding fee of 0.01% every eight hours as you can see here so three times a day you also may want to consider different bonuses and campaigns for example one of the reasons i started using bitget was when i got the nice welcome bonus and i was able to use part of that bonus for making profits and of course bybit is famous for providing the best welcome bonuses for our subscribers sign up bonus up to thirty thousand dollars so if you are a trader bybit is definitely for you and of course the diversification if you are trading for example with thirty thousand dollars then if you trade with ten thousand dollars on binance ten thousand and buy with ten thousand and bit let's say binance goes into bankruptcy you don't lose everything you still have twenty thousand on these platforms comparing if you have thirty thousand on binance and then binance goes into bankruptcy you may lose all of that money so that's why i recommend to diversify in a couple of different exchanges and this is why i have collected for you this ultimate guide where you immediately get more than 20 platforms to start making money so get my guide immediately in the description below for free and if you want to learn futures trading on other platforms and i show you step by step how i earned more than fifteen thousand dollars with just one trade on bybit come to my playlist earn money on bybit and here you will see all the details on how i personally make money on bybit and you will learn all of that by simply taking your finger clicking right here for 100 percent free